What's up guys, Nolan here, and today we're looking at the best loot on reserve in my usual no BS fashion. It's not always about knowing the single best location and getting there before everyone else, because you're just not going to be able to do that every single run. If you are unfamiliar with reserve, be sure to check out my reserve in 5 minutes video before trying this out for yourself in game. I also left some keys and locations out because I would rather that you guys stick to a routine by checking places that I know spawn good stuff more regularly, hence the no BS, because I won't be wasting your time by talking about every possible location for First we'll talk the obvious stuff like the marked rooms and the drop room. Right off the bat I can tell you that if you are doing runs that don't involve a backpack you're going to be wasting your time doing the marked rooms. This is because the highest possible profit you'll be making on average is from cases that you can't stash in those containers and you're going to need a backpack. Sure there's bitcoin, docks, cases, and other great stuff that will spawn there too but you know what also spawns there? Other players. Okay maybe not right there in that room but depending on where you spawned and especially if you are running solo there will be other players very close by and you're going to need to watch out for them, especially when at high traffic areas like marked rooms. Depending on which marked room, you may also have Gluhar and the boys spawning there too. Keep in mind that if you die with an empty container, then it's a failed money run. The drop down room is becoming notorious for its graphics cards and Tetris spawns too, so players will not only race there, but also snipe from the rocks near radar or on the higher floors of the southern barracks, aka White Pond. Depending on what side of the map you spawn on will have different priorities. If you spawn anywhere on the eastern side of the map, then you should focus on getting into the school, aka Black Bishop, because of the military tech and drop down room. You'll most likely have some competition, so be on the lookout the entire time, but make your way to the school as fast as you can. When you spawn on the east side of the map, you are the closest to drop down, so ideally you should go for it as the priority, but if something comes up, you'll still want to be on the third floor and check the shelves in the rooms for military tech. If for some some reason you want to stay away from Black Bishop entirely, you have a choice to make. You can try and get to Admin, aka the Queen Building, or the Southern Barracks, aka White Pawn. White Pawn will allow you to get into the main bunkers for safes, filters, and other loot, while Admin has high technical spawns from the roof to the basement, but is usually high traffic. White Pawn has a very good spawn on the roof at some boxes in the middle. Then if you decide to go into the bunker, you can watch your step while in the big room to look for filters and gas cans before making your way up to the next room. Take a left to look for more filters jackets, and intel spawns. There's a safe in the back room, and pretty much any flat surface can spawn tech. If you make your way all the way up to radar, you can check to see if anybody has looted the unlocked safe room for a safe and possible intel folder too. If you spawn up at the dome, I suggest that you hit this route, but just in reverse, all the way down and then up to the roof of White Pond. Admin has loads of tech and military spawns on every floor. On the first floor, you'll want to check the server rooms for tech spawns, and look out for the loot that spawns inside the servers too. Keep an eye out for the little white dot. If that pops up, then loot is close. In the basement, you'll want to check essentially every flat surface before heading up to the second floor to look for more tech and intel folders. You can move to the back and look in the supply closet before heading out to the garage too if you want, and check for more tech spawns on the server racks the same as you would on the first floor of admin. Moving over to the motor pool, we have the juiciest spawns inside the third floor rooms of both buildings with loads of jackets, PCs, and military loot. Especially on the roof of White Knight, you'll find scopes and suppressors out there all the time, as well as the last room of the long hall. If you spawn anywhere on the west side of the map, I suggest that you try to make it to the White Knight at least. The last place I'll mention is the Hermetic Bunker, where you can usually find some juicy stuff on the stack of bricks in the middle, but it is really only good to go down there if you're hiding from something, or if you have the keys for the PS cages, which we'll get to next. Every single loot spot I just mentioned requires nothing but you being alive to loot. The rest of these will require keys. First and foremost, we have my number one favorite loot location in all of Tarkov, the PS cages of the Hermetic Bunker. These things are amazing and will be the first keys that I prioritize next wipe. The boxes will get you all of the most valuable items with tech spawns, medical, and food. You won't have to worry about hideout items, meds, or food at all. After owning these keys and just doing a few runs, I guarantee it. The next keys I suggest getting are the MP21 and 22 keys for the night buildings as they can get you armed up better on your pistol runs and also spawn other goodies on top of the other possible good stuff you'll get in the night buildings. But just be sure to look out for Glue Boy and his gang. If you don't know how to get on the second floor of White Knight, there's a back door you can go through, then walk onto the tank, then from the tank jump up onto the hood of the UAZ, and then onto the roof, and then through the hole in the wall. Speaking of arming up, the TB, ORB1, 2, and 3 keys will also help out with that as they unlock the armory rooms of the barracks pond buildings. The AO key is good too, especially if you want to ambush some people running to the marked rooms. RBAM will open a mechanical loot room if you get stuck on the first floor of Black Bishop. You also have some weapon attachments on the 
desk. SMP will unlock a med room on the second floor of White Bishop that likes to spawn grizzlies and surgery kits as well as various med loot. Last but not least, we have the KPRL key which will unlock a small room next to dome that has two safes in it as well as various other spawns. Like I said, I like to loot the PS cages for my loot runs, but depending on what your goal is, there's something here for everyone, keys or no keys. If you want to learn anything about EFT in this same no BS fashion, then check out my EFT like a pro playlist. If you like this video, then you know the drill. I really appreciate the people who do. Otherwise, I hope you at least learn something, and I also hope you have a nice day. See you guys.